How you doing? Hi. <laughs> pleasure to be here. Pleasure, pleasure, pleasure. Okay, so what are we doing today? Okay, so first I'm going to tell you a little bit about myself and also tell you about my art. Because people call me a chocolatier, but I'm a chocolate artist that specializes in chocolate. Do you understand? Oh, yeah. Okay, so if I said to you chocolate artist, the first thing you're going to think about is chocolate and art. So let's start there. So I'm going to show you some of my commissions and some of the work that I've done. Um, <laughs> this is over the space of 10 years. Yeah? So there's different types of art, um, different types of commission, and different sizes. So I'm going to explain everything. If you have any questions, please just ask. OK? OK? Yeah? OK. But before we get started, I think all of us should thank GT Bank for holding this event. Yeah? Okay, excellent. I think they can do better than that. Yeah, definitely. Come on, guys. He's a Michelin star pastry chef. Come on. You literally have the Food Network right in front of you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so we're going to start with some art. So I'm going to show you on the screen. Okay, the first picture. So this <laughs> is a roller coaster. Um, that I made for a competition about five years ago. 100%, everything you're going to see is 100% edible. Can you see over there? Can you see? Yeah? Okay, excellent. So, one second. <laughs> so, this was part of a bigger piece because the actual... Easy, easy. No, no, go back. Um, this was part of a piece and the actual piece was uh, two meters square. Okay. You've seen the next picture, so we might as well go to it. The next one is chocolate and fashion. So this is a chocolate dress. Everything is chocolate. A hat, the fan, and a whole dress. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm going to show you one or two more pieces of um, art, as in dresses, as in fashion, because the fashion has changed. This was the first dress that I made. Sorry, the second one. OK, so this is a famous uh, designer uh, from London. Um, and uh, it, this was the actual um, birthday for Magnum. So it was 20, 20 years uh, celebration. So I used Magnum ice cream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I used Magnum chocolate to make the dress. So which dress is chocolate? The right? The right or, or the, the left? left? The right or the left? <laughs> that one. OK, if you vote this one, put your hand up. If you vote the other one, put your hand up. That's not all of you. <laughs> the only you didn't vote. vote. OK, we do it again. If the one on the right, put your hand up. And then on the left. It's kind of like a 50-50 mix. 50-50-50. OK, I'm going to put you out of your misery. The one on the right is chocolate. So those who voted on the left, you can leave. Go, go. Joke, joke. And no chocolate for you. <laughs> okay, uh, the next one, please. So this is the latest dress, um, and this is my favorite. Um, the act, do you, you know a, a show called Downton Abbey? Okay, the designer from Downton Abbey designed the dress, and then I changed it into chocolate. Okay, um, and this, if you can see, you see the L? 
This is for Lint. So Lint commissioned me to make the dress for a fashion show for um, Salon de Chocolate. I don't know if you've heard of this. It's a tour that goes around the world. So this was part of um, the catwalk. Okay. That um, is amazing. Okay. This is a, a chocolate teapot, again, for Lint. This was the launch for um, Earl Grey tea chocolate bars that they wanted to bring out, and they wanted something for the marketing. So I made a chocolate teapot. Not, no use, though. You can't put hot water in it, but, you know. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> this is one of my favorite, and I like that response. So I started to carve faces, and the inspiration from this, to be honest with you, came from Africa. So I'm very proud of this. Very, very proud. Very, very proud. OK, what? next one. So I've done the, also ladies. On this one, I opened the eyes. On that one, I wanted the eyes closed, because I wanted it to be more spiritual. Yeah? This one, I opened the eyes, you know? So OK. Again. Um, this, I don't know if you know This Morning, it's a famous television, okay. So this is Phil Howard, and that was his, f not Phil Howard, Phil Howard was just the chef, that was there. <laughs> <laughs> Philip Schofield. <laughs> Philip Schofield. <laughs> Philip Schofield, and um, we raised money for charity. This was for Tech Santa. Okay, one more. Um, this is a famous footballer. He used to play for Everton, uh, West Ham, and now he plays in Mexico. And he commissioned me to make his face. So I've done this one. I really love this one because I opened the eyes and I added the detail in. Yeah? That's a lot of detail. Pardon? That is a lot of detail. Thank you very much. And the hair and the hairstyle, even though he changed the hairstyle because he used to have that on the other side and changed it. So uh, <laughs> he's a footballer, so what can you do? What can you do? Thank you. Uh, one more? Okay. This is a chocolate man. Now, thank you. <laughs> okay. The, the, the reason why I want you to take a look at this, okay. First of all, I'm going to show you the size of it in a second. But in this picture, there's one thing that's not chocolate. One thing. <laughs> what is it? Table? Okay. You vote the table? Okay. Who vote? One more. One more guess. What do you say? The hat. Okay, no, one more. Let's make it interesting. Whoever gets it right gets chocolate. Pardon? Whoever gets it right gets chocolate. Let's okay. make it more interesting. Yeah, okay. Whoever gets it right gets chocolate. <laughs> the bowl? No. Table? Nah. The what? The painting. Oh, no, not, not in the background. Just the, just the man and the foreground. Forget the background. Forget the background. The spoon? No, chocolate. The what? No, the picture is in the background. What? The apron. The apron. No, chocolate. The cap. The book, the book, uh, the catalog or something on the table. The what? The, the book on the table, the catalog. This the book? The book on the table. The book? No, chocolate. <laughs> Again. The carton. <laughs> the carton. The carton. The carton. Which carton? Which carton? Which carton? The bowl. No, chocolate. <laughs> You're having fun with this, aren't I'm gonna you? I'm going to put you out of misery. I'm going to put you out of misery. Okay. <laughs> the only thing that's not chocolate is this box. Everything's chocolate. The, the table. Even the, the table. The tool. The bowl. The menu. The man. All chocolate. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. But now I'm going to show you the size of it. How tall do you think this is? There you go. Um, eight foot. Well, seven and a half foot. Whew. That was a lot of work. And a, a ton and a half of chocolate. Ton and How a half. long did that take, though? Uh, How this? Long? A week. One week? One week. Well, 10 days. 10 days. But 10 days, I mean... <laughs> Intense 10 days. 10 days, uh, 7 in the morning to midnight. 7 in the morning <laughs> to midnight, you know? Okay, one more? Okay, so th this, this was the first um, display that I airbrushed. So I airbrushed the logo, but this was a, for a party for a Bentley, Rolls Royce. Okay, but they have a, a private club, and this was a display for the private club. 
Okay. This was for Chinese New Year, um, displayed in Harrods, and then Harrods sold it. But the actual display is about that tall. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. So then, we've already spoken about the R, as in uh, taking chocolate and manipulating it to make any displays. But the other side of the company specializes in R on chocolate. Does that make sense? Okay. When I say the R of chocolate, I mean we use R, uh, sorry, the chocolate as a substance or as paint or as a base, and we build on top of the chocolate. So I can manipulate the chocolate to do anything that I want. So, okay, classically, the reason why I'm telling you this is because the chocolate world is changing. So you have a chocolatier that produces just handmade chocolates. Then you have a chocolate artist that produces art. Then you have me in the middle, and I do both. There's no name for me, so I don't know yet. I don't know. I don't know, we're playing with it. Chocolatier artist. Chocolatier artist, yeah. chocolate of art. Chocolate art of, of cho art. I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, so this is uh, chocolate. Then I'm going to show you now. Uh, this is my box. Now, the reason why I'm showing you this is because this is the first box of chocolates ever. Ever. So every chocolate in the box has won an award individually. Yeah, you made a clap. You made a clap. <laughs> so um, the actual box itself, I do believe, is now up to 18 awards. Now, why, why am I telling you this? It's because it's easy for me to uh, take 50 chocolates, compete them, 12 of them win an award, we put them in a box, and I sell them to you. Easy. But bring the box out first, now I can't change the chocolates, and then we compete every chocolate thereafter. That's even harder. So that took five years. Oh, wow. From start to finish, to get every chocolate to win an award. I never do it again, and it'll kill me. So that's that. So you have to buy the box as is. Okay, um, I think there's one, one more. Just that you know, there's a new TV series out in England called The Extreme Chocolate Makers that I'm part of. So that's me. That's me, by the way. You can't, <laughs> I know I kind of fade into the background. <laughs> but that's me. So that's really uh, a little bit about myself. Um, I was a patient, so how did I get to this stage? What time is it? It is. Quarter past six. Quarter past. So okay, we're fine. good. So I'm going to give you quickly, this is what we're going to do, because I'm going to make a chocolate for you. There's chocolates for you uh, also to taste. And there's a new chocolate that I made up while I was here, while I was getting the inspiration and the influence of uh, Nigeria. I took a, a, a particular hmm, specialty that you have and turned it into a chocolate. And you're going to taste today. Yeah? Wow. Okay. Do you want them to guess what you used? Sorry? Do you want them to guess what you used? Yeah, we'll do it a bit later. Yeah. Oh, should we get some the guests now? Yeah, I don't know. It's up to you. Up to you. No, let them wait. Let them wait. Yeah, let them wait. Okay. Let them wait. Let them wait. Okay. Um, okay. So yeah, we have the, the TV program. Um, so this came out. This is a. They've picked eleven chocolatiers to take part in this program. It's um fourteen episodes. No, sorry, eleven episodes, and we I feature in three of them. And um, it started last week and finishes this week. So if you get a chance, go onto Channel 4, look up Extreme Chocolate Makers, and please tell me what you think. I'm going to give you my card afterwards. Let me know. Come on, guys. And now we get into the chocolate. The okay. chocolate tasting and the chocolate making. Chocolate making. OK. I want to do something different, if you don't mind. You OK? You up for some fun? Excellent. OK. Does everyone drink alcohol? Yes? Everyone? Excessively? Alcoholics? Excellent. So we're going to make, what is this? Brandy. We're going to make brandy. But, sorry, you can, it's OK? I thought you were going to say something, sorry. So what we're going to do is have some fun. You're going to tell me how you want the chocolate to taste. And I'm going to write the recipe and make it for you. How is that? How cool is that, guys? Is that okay? How cool is that? Okay. <laughs> okay. So, let's start off with how creamy do you want it? How smooth do you want it? Very smooth. Very smooth. Okay. As far as the chocolate's concerned, do you want it very dark or, or medium? Okay. So, we're mostly milk chocolate. Let's take a vote. It's a democracy. Milk chocolate? Dark chocolate? 
Okay, we compromise. Milk, dark. Okay. I, I do a dark milk. How's that? Dark milk? Okay, fine. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, people are like, ugh. Uh, no, you're going to be fine. Dark milk's fine. It's fine. Okay. Okay. I'm super excited about this. Okay. So, um, before, we, before I do that, do you keep one box of each? Okay. I'm going to show you the chocolates that you're going to taste. Sorry, am I walking around too much? <laughs> That's okay. okay. Excellent. Yeah, okay, cool. Uh, sorry, let me have one little salty caram. So, Paul, these are your chocolates? Yes, so if these I'm are the, the chocolates that my company make okay. back in London. Okay. And, these, uh, and these, most of the chocolates that we make, we supply to restaurants and hotels. Uh, we've just started back online, um, and that will be fully open, uh, we we'll say, with a full range by September. We're just slowly, slowly adding uh, product to it. I don't like to make product and have it sitting down. So therefore, I don't make months in advance and have it sit in. And, no, no, no. We make to order. Yeah? So oh. Paul has brought his chocolates all the way from London for yes. all of you to try. So every single every one person. Of you. <laughs> you have to pay, you know, you have to pay. I'm not joking. <laughs> Okay, so first, uh, the first one that will come around will be salted caramel, which is uh, blue and green. There you go. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> uh, I'm not, uh, we're not going to get into that. <laughs> and this is a uh, passion fruit. Okay, and then. After that, we're going to try these. This is the, the chocolate. Thank you very much. These are the chocolates that I made here in Nigeria. Um, and how long did that take you? <laughs> oh, all day. Uh, about six hours to get the flavors right and so on and sort it out because I had to think of what. Okay, these chocolates here, they take two days. Take two days to make each one. I don't stand there two days and make one chocolate. I mean, the whole batch takes two days. Uh, this took six hours, but I had to change the recipe more into a truffle. Yeah? Because I can make that in a day. Yeah? So, this is how they look. Oh, let's see. Can you see? Can I help you? Of course. You can do it if you want. <laughs> yes. I've, oh, there you go. That's it. That's it. That's tough. Okay. So you can get a better look. There you go. I thought you were telling me. To, oh, this one. Okay. There you go. Can you okay. See? So what kind of chocolate is this? Okay. Even though this is dark chocolate, trust me. Taste it. The balance is perfect. <laughs> I would say that. The the the, the, f the sugar content to the darkness of the chocolate is balanced correctly. Then mixed with spice, a hint okay. of what it is. You've got strong spice in there, but the Nigerian classic is the center. And then we, uh, chocolate on the outside and more spices on the outside. So this is the special one you made yesterday with yes. the special ingredients. That's right. Which they're yet to guess. Yes. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. So I'll give these back. Here you go. We may not, that might be enough. Okay. Might be, we'll see. How many, how many boxes? Two boxes. Yeah, keep, keep one box of each. Who's excited I'll to try the one? chocolate? No, do this. Is this Who's excited to try the chocolate? Okay. Keep these two. Keep these two. And, and cut all these. Okay. So uh, while I, I need two minutes to write a recipe. Okay. And then um, during that, they can have a taste. Then you can have a vote how you want. Awesome. <laughs> yeah? I feel like half of the people are here because of the free chocolate. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Honesty is the best policy. <laughs> okay. So, sorry, what time is it? It is 6.25. Okay, what I may do to begin with is temper some chocolate. So, okay. they can, so I can show them. 
And then while uh, we do that, he can finish the display. OK, go ahead. OK, fine. I'm going to show you how it's as part of the class, I always like to show how to temper chocolate. Do you understand what temper chocolate is? Yeah, who does? Put your hand up. OK, the reason why I like to show it is because it's very important. Without tempered chocolate, I can't make any chocolate. Do you understand? So I like to show it so you know it, so you can pass on the experience to someone else. You could be at a party. I know how to temper chocolate. That's your opening line. If you're a man, <laughs> and you say that to a woman, Uh, we got that over there. OK. So is that, uh, which one's this one? What's, you know, the other, where's the other bowl? I'm the, here to help. Okay. What do you need? The other bowl. Where's the other bowl? OK. No problem. I'm going to pour this onto the table and Ooh. do my thing. OK, go. OK, put that back in the oven, please. OK. So what we're going to do. You may have seen this. So what kind of chocolate is that now? OK, so this is a dark 70%. Um, the original beans, I do believe, if it's about uh, Barry Calabout, that means they come from Ghana. OK. OK, so what we're going to do now is heat the chocolate up to 45. Pour out 2 thirds of it, and then I need to cool it. Yeah. I need to cool it down to 27 and then raise the temperature up to, 20 to 31 for working temperature. What I'm doing now, in the chocolate, there is five fats. We only want one to get the crisp shell, you know, like an Easter egg or a uh, round of chocolate bar. Yeah? So what I'm doing is changing the formula of the chocolate by mixing it on top of each other. Yeah? As it cools, it gets thicker, obviously, but the fat that we need, the uh, beta fat, will be the most stable and the most present in the final chocolate. Does that make sense? Did I tell you there's a test afterwards? No, I didn't tell you. Okay, cool. Uh, okay, cool. So this, the reason why I'm tempering this and showing you this is that we have a display, a quick display that we're going to do, but we need the tempered chocolate to stick it together. Yeah. Any questions? OK, so question time. Who has questions? Yeah. OK, let me rephrase that. <laughs> Whoever asks questions gets more chocolate. How about that? OK, over here. <laughs> the hands are going up. Thank you. All right, so I'm just curious. Are you applying any heat? to that surface, or is there any cool? Does it have to be a certain temperature? Excellent. What's going on here to make it get harder? Is it just oxygen? OK, so there's no heat being applied. What it is is that this is a, a cold surface. So what I'm doing is working it and transferring. Well, getting too technical. Basically, I'm just dropping the temperature. So it was at uh, 45. I need it to come down to 27. Yeah, so now, by looking at this, I know this is about one centigrade off. So this here is about 28, 28.5. I need to get it down to 27. Make sense? Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> you it never look at chocolate sense. the same. <laughs> is that frozen, that table? Is it, is it? She says, is the table frozen? No, it's just marble. Just marble, yeah, yeah. But you can do, OK, if you don't have a marble table and you want to do this, you just Take a tray, put the tray into the freezer. Take it out, same thing. Yeah? Any more questions? OK. Question? Sorry, excuse me. Can I go through? OK, make it good. Make it good. OK, so um, what was your uh, inspiration of making chocolate? <laughs> Why did I get into chocolate? Yes. OK. Um, I was a pastry chef before. I uh, worked at a lot of Michelin star restaurants. 
and then I decided I needed further training. So I moved to France. I uh, spent a year in France and I fell in love with chocolate. And from there I switched and became a chocolatier. But the, the, one of the stories behind it, I might as well give you the story. I worked for a gentleman named Jean Valenta. Jean Valenta is the classmate of Michel Roux Senior, if you know about the Roux brothers. Uh, I worked in his kitchen, in his patisserie shop, and one day he said to me, do this. And I'd never done it before. And the first time I'd done it, I got it right. And he said to me, if you ever do anything, oh, thank you, <laughs> go into chocolate. And then from there, the love just grew. Yeah? Thank you. Thank you very Come much. Come on, guys, louder. <laughs> do we have any more questions? No? Are you shy? <laughs> You have a spatula. Hey, good afternoon. My name is Ade Bingbe. It's just, it's not a question. I just observed that. Yes. The table, you didn't clear the table before you pour that. Um, no, we cleared the table before. Before you even came in here. Well, it's like a few, um, few minutes ago. What, come again? It's, a, it's like a few minutes ago. Uh-huh. Before we came in and do that. Should yeah. I, be, before you poured that. Uh -huh. You should have used something to... <laughs> we to sterilized the table before you came here. <laughs> Don't worry, we're hygienic. We're not trying to kill anybody. <laughs> no, one second. Tell, uh, uh, I'm a professional. Yeah. I do this all around the world. <laughs> Nobody's ever had food star, poisoning. I know what I'm doing. chef. Okay, he knows what he's doing. <laughs> Come on. Question? Hello? <laughs> chef Paul? Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Why do you want... The texture or the volume to be to 27%. Sorry, say again? The reason for that 27%. You say you want it, yeah? Degrees, why? Oh, the, the temperature? Okay. Yes. All right, I understand. Okay, the, the fat, the, the beater fat within the chocolate only sets at certain temperatures. I mean, only, only uh, what's the word? Will only dominate the other crystals at a certain temperature. So you have to get the temperatures right. And if without getting it right, you won't temper the chocolate. Okay? Temperature is the most important thing. Okay, one more question for now so the chef can focus okay. on, on okay, the chocolate. Cool. If you don't mind, just I wipe, was just wipe guessing. This. Um, no, you don't have to do it now. You do it after. He's but like, we use he's this and we do the display. If you bring the, the display, I'll show you. With the senses, like, no tools to check the temperature. So, how do you get the temperature without a tool? Okay. Uh, What's that? Okay, so she says. How are you measuring the temperature? How are you getting the temperature without, you know, using any tools to kind of regulate? To regulate. Know, to, yeah. Practice. Yeah. Just practice You've been doing this for now. 30 years, haven't you? I could use a thermometer. <laughs> what? <laughs> Thank you. When I first started, I take the temperature of everything. Yeah. Yeah, we take the temperature, da, da, da. But I do every day, every day, every day to make sure um, I get it right. Okay, then let's just talk plain. When you're a minority, you have to be perfect. Yeah? So therefore, I do every day. Simple. You know what I mean? So it has to become second nature. Has to. Has to. Thank you. Okay, so what next? <laughs> what next? Next, we're going to um, have a tasting. And while you're tasting, yeah, I'm going to write the recipe, and then we make the recipe. How long do we have? We should, we should have half an hour now. Half an hour. Perfect. So the first chocolate you're going to taste. No, I think passion fruit. So we're going to go with passion fruit first. Yeah. So you're going to come round. Please just take one. Please. Okay. You know what? Please. <laughs> <laughs> please. Okay. Let's make this. Let's let's make this easier and more organized. How yeah. about we have the chaperones hand it out to everybody? Yes. Let's that, have that. That will make it. Yeah. But Boy. one, please, 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 one, please, please. <laughs> please don't show yourselves. Just <laughs> take one, okay? Just one, please. Yes. Do we have this yeah, yeah. Just take like, uh, yeah. Give one to each person, and then let them come back. Oh, maybe two, and then they come back. So maybe this two. is the what flavors? Passion fruit. Passion fruit. Got it. 
Okay, so who's excited about trying the passion uh. fruit chocolate? <laughs> I think you're the most excited, Burger Bear. <laughs> you're like... Oh. <laughs> Do you have paper? Okay, do me a favor. Uh, take those chocolates out of the box and give me the box. Okay, so what are we doing now? I'm gonna write a recipe. Okay. Right, so I'll write the recipe. So we said um, medium dark. Ha ha. And you get to keep the recipe. Ha <laughs> ha, she's smart. <laughs> she's smart. She's on it. Okay, better still, where is she? You come and write the recipe. <laughs> I'll tell you. Woo! I'll tell you the recipe aloud. You can write. You can stay here, or you can stay there. It's up to you. Okay. All right. Uh, Where do you want to stay? Where's, okay. Yes. No problem. Stand here. It's okay. Two liters. Two kilos. Two kilos, two kilos, two kilos, two kilos. Okay. So who's going to be making some chocolate next weekend? Nobody? This is something I wrote earlier, but it's not going to work. No one's going to make okay. chocolate at home? One kilo. So it's good, it's good. That's okay. nowhere near enough, uh, guys. Why are you even in this uh, class? White, cho white chocolate? <laughs> uh, white chocolate. So white chocolate, we're, go we're going to add one kilo. The reason why we use the white chocolate, I'm going to explain every ingredient. The reason why we use the white chocolate, for me, white chocolate is not chocolate. And I'm going to explain why. Because it has no cocoa mass. The, the flavor comes from the cocoa mass. Yeah? But the reason why I use white chocolate is for the milk powders. The milk powder will make it richer. Yeah? Okay, one kilo. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Milk chocolate. Uh, milk chocolate, um, 600 grams. So what are we going to do with this recipe? Are we Sorry. kind of, Sorry? what are we going to do with the recipe once we write it down? We're going to write it, I'm going to write it down and I'm going to make it. But okay. I'm saying it aloud, so if they want it, they can have it. Okay, awesome. They can have it. Can have it. Um, inverted sugar, uh, 250. So, sorry, this is a re an old recipe that I'm going to reinvent. Uh, cream. Uh, where's the sugar? No, no, no invert, inverted sugar. Sorry, inverted sugar. Put inverted sugar um, this looks very to 250. Complicated. Very complicated. Very complicated. <laughs> um, inverted sugar is uh, 200 grams. Normal sugar, 300 grams. Uh, butter, uh, 250 grams. Salt, a pinch. That's it. Okay? Afterwards, I'll give you okay. back your book. Is it okay? Okay, so we're good to go? Yeah, we're good to go. Awesome. Okay, so you're going to weigh this for me. Weigh for me uh, the sugar um, and the butter. And I'll do the glucose. You know how to do the glucose with a wet hand? Okay, weigh the glucose and keep the sugar separate. Can you help her, please? Okay, you want to talk about something until we... Uh, <laughs> the display. Yes. Okay. So we're going to attempt to do this display. We had problems this morning because it started to melt. But I just wanted to show you something that we can do live. Where's can the chef? Yes, chef. This is the chef that helped me make it. Give him the credit. Okay. So he started it. He's going to finish it. Okay. Okay, okay cool. so can, can so you we, kind you of talk us through what this is? So, what? No, I have to work here. Sorry, you have to work over there. <laughs> Sorry. So, what exactly is that? Okay, so what we've done, uh, I brought from London a transfer of the GT Bank and we applied it to chocolate. But this is the guy that helped me to do it. Without him, it wouldn't have been possible. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> I thank him. He's now family. <laughs> okay. Good. It's good. It's good. You can take that off. You take that off so we can show can them. Can everybody see? Yeah. How cool is that? Okay. Okay. You hold it up. Yeah, you hold it up. Let me move this for you. Yeah. 
Turn, turn it, yeah. So, yeah, that's it, I can see. Yeah? So, is, is that edible as well? Yeah, this is 100% edible. After, we're going to make it into a stand, and then afterwards we'll break it and we eat it. So, you, you, you know what, what to do. Okay. Can, can I do the honors of no breaking problem. it? Don't worry, don't, don't, no pressure. Can I do the honors of breaking it? Of course, yeah. Or can we do it together? Okay, we're going to do with this. This is a fat balloon, so we just scrape this off. It's easy. Just. Don't break it. I didn't want to break it either. He insisted. Okay. <laughs> it's so gorgeous. Okay. So now we're going we're to make a start. I know I'm fitting in a lot in an hour. I know, I know, I know. Okay, how long we got? 20 minutes. More than enough time. Perfect. More than enough time. Do you want to talk about these? <laughs> I've been staring at these the whole class. I kind of like moved towards the side, like, uh, when are we going okay. to have the mousse? Okay. Are you, mind you don't get dirty, yeah? Because it's the chocolate. Mind your clothes. Yeah, okay. Okay. <sighs> okay, so, so what, okay. what do we have over here. here? Also was made for you guys. I made a, a chocolate mousse. Oh, with some biscuit at the bottom. Thank you. And we're going to put a little bit of mango on top. But there's only enough, sorry. We didn't have time. I ran out of time. We only have one for two. So you have to share with the partner. If you don't know them who's sitting next to you, take a plastic spoon. Go once, not twice. <laughs> not twice. Once. And take them out. Once. But we, we have this last because it's still a bit frozen. But you can still eat from frozen. Because uh, what I love about this mousse, it's a combination between a mousse and a parfait. Okay. Yeah. So when I was working in a restaurant, in a Mission Star restaurant, I would uh, make this and just take this out just before lunch. So if you look here, you see how the sides are already starting to, and it just came out of the freezer. Yeah. Okay. Let's back up for like two seconds. Parfait. Can you? Can Sorry. you? Yeah. Can you just explain <laughs> so that to people excited, who? Excited. You're getting a bit excited, <laughs> aren't excited, you? <laughs> excited, <laughs> okay. Par can, can we? Can we go into that just for like two seconds? Okay. A parfait. A parfait is almost like an ice cream, but it's got uh, whipped cream. That's the best way. But then, uh, but then you can also have a parfait that's got an uh, Italian meringue. I don't want to confuse you, everybody. Basically, the difference between an ice cream and a parfait is that a parfait doesn't go into a chocolate machine. I mean, into an ice cream machine. Okay. And an ice cream goes into an ice cream machine. That's the main difference. Okay. And parfait, that's P-A-R-F-A-I-T. So if you want to Google that. Yeah, Google that. And then the mousse. Can we go into what a mousse is? A mousse is uh, a cream that's been set with something. So it can be set with gelatine or it can be set with chocolate. But it has, but it has to have whipped cream. Yeah? Got it? Got it? Got it? You know the difference? <laughs> but, the main, but the main difference between the parfait and the mousse is that one's frozen. Okay, I'm just yeah. gonna stand here and guard it for you. <laughs> you got it, I'm gonna start cooking. Okay. So we have our, okay, our sugar, our glucose. Okay, can you weigh the glucose into a pan for me, please? Yeah. Have you all had a chocolate, passion fruit? Please, put up your hands if you had passion fruit. Everybody? No? You didn't have any? Most people, though. <laughs> Most people. <laughs> Most people. Everyone had one. Okay. Was it okay? No, not at the back. No. Okay. Yeah, chop some. Give out these ones to the back. And then maybe... Take another one and cut that. That should be enough. Okay, so what are we doing now? Okay, so now we're going to um, make the ganache. We're going to okay. make the brandy chocolate from scratch. Okay. okay? So the young lady. So this is only for people who can drink alcohol? Pardon? This is only for people who can drink alcohol? Yeah. So if, if you don't drink alcohol, sorry, you have to eat the ones from before. This is for alcoholics. Where, where's my people? <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> For this one, hold. I'll do. It's okay. Okay, <laughs> so should we take a few questions while you're yeah, setting up and doing all of that? Uh, okay. So can I just say that? As you can see, I'm going to wash my hands. So we are hygienic, guys. We take health and safety very seriously. Huh? We take health and safety very seriously. Yeah, I take hygiene very personally, you know? Okay, so does anyone have any questions? Sorry. Okay. Um, good afternoon. 
So what's the what's the recipe? How much Good you better sugar? Good evening. Two hundred, three hundred. Okay. Okay. I just wanted to ask. Yes. In Nigeria, because of the climate and the humidity, do you have to work chocolate differently to what you do in in the UK or elsewhere? Because it's okay. so hot. Yes. And when you're working chocolate, it melts very, very quickly. So what do you have to do differently here right. than what you do in the UK? Okay, I understand. Uh, obviously, you. the hardest thing is the humidity. So we work exactly the same. Yesterday, I worked exactly the same as I would in the UK. The only difference is, is that you have to have air conditioning. This is the problem. Um, I know there's a lot of companies trying to invent a chocolate that can go into the sun so you can have it out. Please, don't buy this. Don't buy this. Don't buy it. It's like saying you want to buy a car and you put in a bicycle. It, it, it doesn't make any sense. It, it's chocolate. Chocolate melts at body temperature. This is the whole thing about chocolate. So it's better you go to the shop after the sun uh, goes down, buy the chocolate, take it home, put it in your air-conditioned house or keep it in the fridge and eat as and when you want. Of course, it's going to melt if you take it out and put it in your pocket. But this is the whole thing about chocolate. Once you start adding other fats to chocolate to stop it from melting, it's no longer chocolate. Yeah? You understand? Okay. Sorry if I feel a bit passionate about this, but it's... Okay, so while you're doing all of that, mm -hmm. um, let's talk about your goal to kind of bring chocolate making back to Africa. I know that's something you feel very passionate about. That's yes. something you want to do. Yes. That's one of your goals for your, you know, for your business right now. Do you want to like quickly let okay. the audience know what you're doing with that? Okay. So why I'm really excited to be here. Do you know that Africa supplies 70% of all of the cocoa in the world? Okay. 70%. Name me five chocolate companies from Africa. I've got all day. There's none. There's none, there's none, there's none. So it's a pleasure for me to come here and teach. And it's now to um, close the gap. You guys have to start producing your own stuff instead of sending it to Europe to get chocolate to buy back. <laughs> Thank you, I feel very passionate about that too. Thank you. Okay. Okay, any more questions? Hello. Hello. Go ahead. Okay, so do you use uh, the tempering machine for large orders or you use the method you just used? Do I use a tempering machine? Okay. Yes. Once, once you go... Okay, let's see. Can you... Sorry, this one. Once, once you go over uh, 30 kilos, it's very difficult to produce by hand. If you want to go into the market and produce for the masses, you can't do by hand on a... You just can't do it. You need a tempering machine. And it's better you get a tempering machine because the tempering machine is consistent. Where's she gone? Where's the lady gone? Oh, yeah. The, <laughs> the, you get consistency. And if you start going into business, you have to be consistent. It's better you be consistently bad than be up and down. <laughs> yeah? So, yeah, you need a chocolate machine. Why? You want to go into chocolate? Yeah, you're in chocolate. Excellent. Afterwards, we talk. No problem. No problem. No problem. So is there a difference in taste between like a handmade chocolate and a tempered made chocolate? Okay, so between mass-produced cho chocolate and um, handmade, yes, there is a difference. And the difference is love. That's it, it's love. It's love. But you can scale up, but you just got to carry that love over into the scaling up. But a lot of people, when they scale up, they make the same mistake. They scale up and then now buy cheaper ingredients. If you're going to scale up, you've got to keep the same. If not, scale up and buy more expensive ingredients. And that's something that you focus on yes. with your chocolates. Yes. And so you, you were saying it takes two days for your chocolate yes. while it takes a day for regular chocolate. And a that's regular. why it tastes so different. Different as well. Because if you tasted the chocolate, uh, no matter how hot it is, you've still got a crunch on the outside, yeah? The shell was still hard. Okay, fine. You only can get this if you love what you're doing. If you taste most chocolate, you bite into it and the outside is soft, no? Yeah? No? Maybe I'm talking to myself. <laughs> yeah? Yes? No? Yeah? Yes? Okay. So this is one of the rules, uh, is that you have to have a crisp shell. 
most important thing. Okay. Okay, we're going to start with this, yeah? So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to heat my glucose. Do you know what glucose is? Okay, excellent. But this flame is not... Okay, sorry, can you light this one? It's on, but it's like... Yeah, it's flickering. Yeah. Ten minutes. I'll finish in ten minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah ten minutes. Ten minutes okay, what we're going to do while I'm doing this at the same time, you're going to taste the salted caramel. But before we do that, let's have a vote on the passion fruit. How was it? Who liked it? Who didn't like it? Just one person. You didn't like it? Good. Why? Come again? It's what? Okay, what we need to do for me is to take the blender. Bring the blender and put it here. I uh, weigh the chocolate. I like put the chocolate, chocolate into the blender, please. Oh, so it's, a, it's, the, it's the, the type of chocolate, not yeah, the flavor. Yeah, but the passion uh, fruit flavor inside was awesome. But the yeah, okay, chocolate. so it's, it's, she doesn't like dark chocolate, but she liked the passion fruit. Okay, yeah. I can't help you there. Sorry. <laughs> you don't like dark chocolate? <laughs> can't help you, sorry. Okay, I've got to do this very quickly so we can, um, you can see it okay, before it's I'm so it's excited fit. about this. Okay. I need a whisk and a spatula. Okay, so what you're going to do is weigh the chocolate, put the chocolate into the blender. White the white chocolate and the milk. So we're, so we're blending the solidified chocolate? Yeah, so what's going to happen now is that I'm, I, I've only got 10 minutes, so we're going to move very quickly. We're going to put the chocolate into a, a blender. I'm going to cook the first part here. And okay. then so we're going to put the sugars and the butter here and the cream, and then we're going to add that to the chocolate and then add the brandy last. Okay. Is everyone taking notes? No one's taking notes. <laughs> okay. So um, what I'm going to do is also is, is create a caramel. Um, the reason why I create a caramel is that if I gave you that amount of sugar to eat, it's going to be very sweet. But if I turned that into a caramel, you could eat the same amount. Okay. So we have the glucose in there. Yeah, glucose. Okay. And then we're going to add sugar. Okay. Um, and then we're going to add the cream. This already seems so unhealthy. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. So can you weigh the... Oh, that's the cream? Can you... Uh, the blender? Oh, yeah, that's fine. I'll bring it over. But can you weigh this for me? Yeah, please. It's okay. I'm going to come to that. That's okay. So that's the milk. Okay. If I'm sorry. Correct. Sorry, go ahead. That's the milk that she's. Yes. Okay. So we're going to move very quickly because okay. I only have. Okay, let's do it. Let's okay, do it. Let's fine. do it. So this has to boil for. Can you see? Okay, we seem to be on both screens. <laughs> My friend, come. Look, okay. So we have the glucose. Hello. Uh. Hello. We want to show people the food. Come on, guys. Okay, let's just talk them through it. So okay, fine. Okay, so okay. we have the glucose. Yeah, we have the glucose. We have to okay. um, heat the glucose. Okay. So how long are we heating the glucose for? So we need to heat... So okay, when, you, when cooking, don't go by time. Go by look. Okay. Because depending on how far high the fire is, we determine how quick it melts. So it needs to melt and it needs to boil. Okay, so what kind of consistency are we looking for? So, so it should look... Uh, you can't so it's it. almost like jelly-ish, isn't so it? So when you first take out the glucose, it's very uh, elastic -y. Okay. When we heat it, it goes more like a liquid, more like milk. Okay. Oh, here we go. Here we go. I'm a bit close. There you go. You see it's starting to melt? The oh, fuck? Okay. You see it's starting to move around? Yeah? You see? Okay, fine. Okay, okay cool. so what are we doing next? Okay, so this needs, needs to, to heat up a little bit more. What time is it? What time is it? We have seven more minutes. Okay. Are we okay. good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Perfect. Very good. Okay. At this point, we add the sugar. Want to see? Can you see? Yeah? Add the sugar. How much sugar did you weigh? Huh? How much? Sugar. How much was the sugar? Huh? Sorry. Hello? That looks like too much sugar. How much sugar did you weigh? How? Huh? 200. 
How many? How much? Yeah, 200. 200 it just grams. 200 grams, yeah. Okay. It just looked like a lot. It does look like a lot. It looks like a lot, huh? That's not 200 grams. <laughs> that looks like more 400. Anyway, it doesn't matter. We're here. We're just going to wing it. We're going to wing it. Let's go. I didn't say that, though. I didn't say that. <laughs> so we're going to create a caramel now. So I need to get some heat under here. Okay. Who's got the recipe? Who's got the recipe? How much cream? Cool. So if you look now, look, it's starting to, the sugar is starting to melt. In about a minute, it will turn to a caramel. Okay. Oh, so oh. you don't like whisk it no. or you, so you just no, kind no, of? No, 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 no. Okay. The, okay. Uh, a lot of cookery books and a lot of chefs will say to you, whisk it. Okay. The problem with whisking... And what's the error in doing that? Error. Because if there's, this is dirty or this has oil, this will crystallize. Okay. Crystallization is like when you get honey and then it, then it turns into sugar. That's what will happen to this. Okay. Oh, we do we don't want, want that. that. We don't want that. We just need to melt it. I'm going to make a light caramel. So it's just like a waiting game right yeah. now. So here is just waiting. Okay. So while he, that's waiting, I'll go over here to the chef. How are you getting on? You good? Okay, good. Use the cold spray. You'll be fine. Ooh, this looks amazing. So what are we doing over here, Paul? Okay, so what he's going to do with that is um, use the, the triangles to hold up the, the plaque. The plaque. So those will go in the back there, and it will stand up. Oh, wow. So does this act as like a glue? Yeah, so the chocolate will work as a glue. Oh, wow. Yeah. How amazing is that, guys? You guys don't seem impressed at all. Did you know you could use chocolate as glue? No, you did not. <laughs> okay. Well, I didn't know, so I'm impressed. Okay, so what we'll do, while, we'll, while I'm doing this, you have to do two things at the same time. You're gonna eat another chocolate, yeah? And I'm gonna finish this. So tasking, oh my gosh. What time is so it? We tasking. should have five minutes now. We have five minutes. Exactly, good. Okay, so Who's now- Who's ready for more chocolate? So what you're going to taste now is the, t the, I call it the taste of Nigeria. Um, is this the one with the special ingredient? This is a special ingredient. So I'm not going to tell you what the special ingredient is. Take it, taste it, and tell me and what you guess. think. And guess? Yeah? Guess? Yeah. Do you want to taste now? Good. And? I don't know uh, how we're going to serve it. If we've got any plates, but maybe you take a tray, start from both sides, and then come to the middle. Something like this. Please, please, please take one. One, one. So what do we do to the person who guesses correctly? Or the people yes. who guess correctly? The people that get it correctly. We give we, them more chocolate? We give them the mousse. We give them mousse? Yes. Okay. But what happens if they all get it right? Huh? What happens if they all get it right? <laughs> okay, fine. Okay, we're gonna, my friend? This, where's the cameraman? Oh, here. Hello? Okay, so are we ready to go out with the special ready. Nigerian chocolate? So should they go out with the chocolate now? Okay, ready? Should they go out with the chocolate now? Ooh. Okay, so now I, I add the butter to stop the sugar from cooking. Okay. Yeah, most people would add cream. I add butter. The reason why I add the butter, I want the sugar to cook the butter. Okay. So we get a nutty taste. Okay. Yeah. Okay. With the chocolate, what do you want to do with that? Should so, I go now? Yeah, don't okay. go now. But keep back five. Keep it what? Keep back five. Okay. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> okay. I don't come to Nigeria every day, huh? So. <laughs> okay. So okay, you got it? Okay, wait, okay. yeah, wait, weigh me 375 okay. grams. Perfect. 300, yeah, 375. Okay, even I'm excited to try the chocolate. Sorry? 
<laughs> Even I'm excited. I know what's in it, mm -hmm. but I really want to taste it to see what it's like. Go ahead. I'm going to try it. <laughs> Keep that five, yeah? Five. Five. Don't worry. They have, they, they, okay. They okay. have it. OK, cool. So we're at this stage now. Now we're starting to boil. You see okay. here? The, sh the, the fat, um, the water from the butter as it um, evaporated. Yeah. yeah, has evaporated. So now we just got fat and sugar. And because there's only fat and sugar, it looks like it's split. OK. Yeah? OK. And that we're still not mixing it. No, no mixing. Not until this stage. Okay, I'm going to try one. Try one, please, and tell me what you think. Moment of truth, guys. Okay, you're going to get some spice, followed by some sweetness, followed by the chocolate. Hmm? Followed by, I'm sorry, I'm just telling you what you're going to taste. <laughs> Now, at this stage, I can start to whisk. Mm -hmm. So that tastes really good. It tastes really <laughs> good. Excellent. But, Thank you. But. But. However. But. However. <laughs> however. <laughs> you're going to have a hard time figuring out what the special ingredient is. So good luck. 375, yeah? yeah. How long we got? Two minutes? Yeah, two minutes. Two minutes. Perfect. Are we good? Yeah, yeah, we're good. We're good, we're good. Don't worry, everything down. All we're gonna do is take this, put it into the blender, that's it, it's finished. Wow. Okay, I wish we could take more questions, but unfortunately, we've run out of time, so we're just gonna finish up the chocolate. We're going to go for the tasting of the chocolate, and we're going to round up the class. But, but, tell, but if they want to ask me anything afterwards, I'll stay. Yeah. OK, so Paula said if you want to ask him any questions afterwards, he's going to be here to answer your questions. Unfortunately, there is a class after this, immediately after this. So that would probably have to be on that side or on that side. Or oh, outside, outside. Yeah, outside. so outside. Outside. And the lady with the chocolate company, afterwards. Okay, okay so it. now we're whisking it. Yes, so now everything is incorporated. We're going to pour until the chocolate. It's going to melt the chocolate, then we add the alcohol, finish. Okay. Yeah? You okay with the blender there? You got the blender, yeah? Where's the milk chocolate? Sorry, where's the milk chocolate? The milk chocolate. Huh? Huh? Sorry? Yeah, just milk chocolate, whisk, done, finish. Oh, come on. Finish up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, where's the milk? Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Hot. Okay, we're gonna have. No problem, no problem. How much milk chocolate did I say? How much milk chocolate did I say? In the recipe. Look at the recipe. What's the milk chocolate say? Put okay, down. so we're just about to round up the class. That's Paul Wayne Gregory is going to add the final ingredients, and it's a wrap, guys. I hope you all enjoyed the class. I hope you all took something amazing away from this class, and you're going to go home next Start weekend. This for me. Make some chocolate for your friends, make some chocolate for your family, make some chocolate for yourself. And you can say you learned it at the GT Bag Food and Drink Festival 2019. Paul Thank Wayne you. Gregory, or Willy Wonka. Have you got that before? <laughs> yeah, I get it all the sure. time. So what's your favorite thing about chocolate, working with chocolate, wow. that is? My favorite thing is um, the unexpected, as in anything is possible. True. Anything is possible. I can make anything from chocolate, and that will keep me excited. Wow. So in terms of the amount of ants, or cavities, or weight you gain, <laughs> it seems like you don't eat a lot of the chocolate. Well, you'll be surprised. I eat five kilos a month. What are your teeth looking like? <laughs> your dentist Good. must love you. <laughs> but it's the, it's the quality of the chocolate. You see, yeah. this is the problem. Um, we, cheap chocolate has a lot of sugar, so okay. you're basically eating sugar. Yes. Good quality chocolate has a lot of co cacao, cocoa, which is good for you, good for your heart, good for everything. Where do you get your ca cacao, cocoa? <laughs> you, you must get a lot of it. Where do yeah, you source it. it from? All over the world. Um, 
Africa as well, mm -hmm. uh, very important, um, South America. But mm -hmm. I match the flavor with the right chocolate. Okay. If that makes sense. Okay. Yeah. So out of all the chocolate out there, what's your favorite? Wow. Um, and you can't you say yours. <laughs> nope. You can't you say yours. <laughs> um, but uh, it's hard to say because I only eat mine. Uh. Because I, I only eat like raw chocolate now. Okay. So I okay. eat it as it comes in from the farm. Well, okay. It comes in, we produce it, and then I eat it. Okay. So there were kids in the audience. I was like thinking they're going to go home and melt chocolate on their counters and be like, look, mommy, look what <laughs> I've done. Really. How do you get the temperature? How do you know the temperature without using like a thermometer? Okay. Or is there? Yeah, there's a, there's a probe that you use. But, okay, okay. But there's actually a trick to it. Um, and the trick is, well, it's not a trick, but it's a fact. Your body temperature is 35 to 38. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you know that if it feels um, good to the touch, then it's at that temperature. And then you take it above to bring it up. And then if it's cold to the touch, you know that it's below 30, it's good to use.